What's up, everybody? I am 22 Tiger Dude, and this is going to be my review for the Futurama episode called Saturday Morning Fun Pit. Alright, so this is another one of those Futurama episodes where they do three different segments. This one's like for different cartoon animation styles. The first segment is the Scooby-Doo segment, the second one is the Smurf segment, and then the last one is the G.I. Joe segment. So I am going to review segment by segment by segment and then range them all into what my overall score is. Bendy Boo and the Mystery Crew. <laughs> wow. <laughs> So obviously, just judging by that title, you could see that it's a, a Scooby-Doo parody. This segment right here, I honestly gotta say, this was a really enjoyable segment. I had a lot of fun. Bender as Scooby-Doo, classic. Fry as Shaggy, wow, that was awesome. Everyone actually fit the Scooby-Doo characters very well. The animation on them looks breathtaking. You know, just how they played out the whole Scooby-Doo thing, I thought it was clever, it was original, and it was really enjoyable. I, I got a lot of laughs out of it, and I was smiling basically the whole time watching this segment. It was just really good and I was just really impressed by the first segment right here. The flaws I did have with this segment though, I just thought it gets a little bit too convoluted and the ending, you know, it was kind of dumb and it kind of uh, took me out of this segment a little bit. So, you know, I wasn't a big fan of how they played out the ending, it was just kind of like dumb and they rushed it too in my honest opinion, but overall I had a fun time with Bendy Boo and the Mystery Crew, the first segment, and I'm going to give this segment a 9 out of 10. Second segment is called Purpleberry Pond, and that is parody of Strawberry Shortcake. This was actually enjoyable at first. It started off enjoyable, and then it cut to the commercial thing and then went back to Purple Berry Pond and then commercial. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to say this. This is not a very good segment. It's not horrible, but it was very distracting because I get it that they were trying to do it for comic relief and once or twice was fine but then they really overplayed it as the second segment was coming along and I gotta say I just didn't have that much fun it started off being cute and awesome and pretty funny and then they do the commercial thing a whole bunch of times you know with this purple berry pond cereal and it is creative but why did the writers have to do that to the segment? Like, just do the commercial thing once or twice. I'm fine with at least twice. But they did it a lot more once it got close to the ending. And I gotta say, I just really just couldn't enjoy it. There are some laughs. I do like the whole serial thing. The, the first two times they did the commercial, I did laugh. It was pretty dumb. Eh, second segment just wasn't that good in my opinion. I'm gonna give... The second segment, Purpleberry Pond, a 6 out of 10. The final segment, and that one is called G.I. Zap. Yeah, <laughs> that is a parody of G.I. Joe. Oh, <sighs> man. This was a bad segment. Oh man, it just went down this episode. It goes from being really enjoyable to okay to terrible. The segments go down. It just got worse as the episode's going along. G.I. Zap, I'll admit, I laughed a couple of times at the dumb moments that they brought to the segment. Plus how the episode ended because, you know, there was a little side brief plot with the governor uh, uh, enjoying the cartoons, but everyone in town wanted uh, the governor to try to pick cartoons that are more appropriate for their children. 
you know, give them nice lessons. And so how the governor's side of the segment was going on, I thought that was pretty funny. And I got to say, I did get a good laugh out of the ending of this whole episode. But G.I. Zap, the segment, it was sloppy. It was rushed. They really got carried away with the segment. Like, they really tried to over do it it was just dumb it got me pretty angry as i was watching it just because of how unbelievably sloppy and rushed and ah i'm gonna give the third and final segment gi zap a three out of ten just because there were a couple of dumb moments in that segment that did make me laugh plus the brief side plot with the governor and the whole cartoon thing actually did get me a good laugh but overall ah, it's just not good I am going to give the Futurama episode Saturday Morning Fun Pit as a whole, ranging all of the segments I rated a 6 out of 10. Subscribe, like, and share. Follow me on Facebook, on Twitter. Comment your opinion on this Futurama episode. And don't forget that I will always have Taga Power!